Hi guys. Um, so it, I'm just gonna explain my process for writing this last section of my conclusion. Um, basically, the key idea is just, it's what you want your reader to be left with. And because of that, you wanna say, answer the question, why did I read this paper? Who cares about this? Why should I care? Why should I do anything besides just forget everything I just read? Okay, so um, in my example, I uh, move on from summarizing evidence by saying, understanding the enduring legacy of these court decisions is important because it allows us to understand the stakes at play. Despite the committed work of activists and advocates, millions of people are still oppressed by unfair systems and unjust laws. In order to effectively fight for justice, we must understand uh, the weapons in our arsenal. The court is a powerful weapon that, when employed effectively, can play a critical role in dismantling systems of oppression and creating social progress. So, what am I doing there? Why would that make someone care about something? Doing a couple things, right? I'm literally telling them why it's important. <laughs> I'm talking about the broader world, and I'm sort of telling them um, how this information would be helpful to them, how they can use it. Is that like, they'll need it if they want to be part of the fight for justice. So um, we have some probing questions here. Um, you're thinking about these as you write, and mine is a little bit long. Yours really can be like one, two, three sentences long. It does not have to be an extended thing. Um, why should a reader care about this? What impact could it have on their future or the future in general? How could someone apply the information to their own life? Is this a call to action? Like, what do you, what do you want the reader to do or think now? Um, some other things to keep in mind. Sometimes people uh, really artfully bring back themes that came up in their hook um, or challenge the reader. That's sort of like the call to action. Pose questions about what, like theoretical questions about going forward or a plan uh, or solution on what should be done. Um, so that's it. If you wanna see examples, you can click on that. Um, this will be the last part of your draft. Can you believe it? And after this, you are all just in the revision process, baby. So pat yourself on the back um, and go forth.